Good morning, Fullness. I'm Michelle Crawford, and I'm here to share a testimonial with you this morning. I have missed all of you, and I really enjoyed participating in some of the projects that Fullness has going on as a way of staying connected. And the one that has to do with my testimony today is the Samaritan's Purse Shoe Box Project. And I was thrilled when I saw that it was Eli who introduced this project to us a few weeks ago because I know Eli, I know his love for God and his heart for other people. So that really touched me. And the shoebox project is something I have always loved participating in. Um, just every part of it. I love trying to pick out fun items to put in the boxes and praying over the boxes that God would supernaturally match the box to the child's personality. And I just, I've loved doing that. But like all of you, you fill them, you pray for them, and then you send them on your way, and that's it. But recently, I had an opportunity, and I'm gonna do this without crying, because I can't do it like 12 takes. Um, to, God gave me the privilege of seeing the other side of this, and it was really amazing. In this past January, Brad and I went to India. Um, we saw some amazing historical places in the north. But then at the end of our trip, we took a domestic flight to the south because I wanted to see the little boy that we sponsor over there. Now the sponsorship we have is for education. So he lives with his family, his three brothers, mom and dad. Um, and so we knew they weren't destitute, but you know, they still you know, had financial needs. And so we met with the pastor who's in charge of the sponsorship program. And he introduced us to this boy and his brothers. And then we got to meet the family and the family took us to their home. And when we got there, we saw this home had no walls. They lived in a parking garage. Um, the dad is a security guard there for the garage and so they gave him the ability to, to live there with his family. They had some shower curtains set up for privacy, um, and they were so proud. They, they had never had visitors before, and they showed us their little makeshift kitchen and, and a little outdoor sleeping area. And then they showed us this. They did have access to a closet, so the boys got to sleep safe behind locked doors every night. And as I walked into this closet, and I saw us sitting on the shelf were three Samaritan's Purse Christmas boxes. And <laughs> I choked. Um, I was literally trying to bite my tongue or dig my fingernails into my hand or do something to keep me from having to come apart right there. But it's like I saw God's love and the love he has for children, for children to know that they are loved and to know that they are special. And it was just so amazing to see this. It was, um, it was feeling God's heart and his love for children. Now, God has called me to children and that's the piece of his heart that he's put in my heart that makes me have come apart at things like this and, and the fact that I can't not cry during a baby dedication and, and when someone gets baptized, when a child is baptized, it's just the peace he's given me. And it was such a privilege for me to be able to experience that so that well, when this opportunity comes up again, I, I've seen the other side and, and it's, it's amazing. So what I would ask of you is what piece of God has he put in your heart that's part of who he is to make the world a better place? I love you, fullness. Be blessed.